The next set of commands that I'd like to look at is helpful for drawing random numbers from distributions that are famous, from distributions that have special names. For example, the normal distribution. The command for drawing random numbers from a normal distribution is called rnorm. Other commands related to the normal distribution have other letters and then the word norm, and we'll get to some of those as we move forward. But r is for random, norm is for normal. So for example, at its simplest, if I say r norm 1, r is going to assume I mean a standard normal distribution, which has mean 0 and variance 1, and it's going to draw one number from that distribution. There's one standard normal. So this right here is the same as this. Right. If I do that again, I'll get a different number because it'll be a different random draw, but this is the same thing. Of course, I can change. I can change the mean and the variance. So if I want to draw from standard normal with mean 100 and standard deviation 3, I can do that. This first argument tells you how many normals you'd like to draw. When you draw them, they come independently. And so you can get a vector of normals. So if I do this, I'm going to get 100 random normals. And because I'm not specifying the mean or the standard deviation, R will assume that I mean mean 0 and standard deviation 1. And so I can do this. And this time, let me give it a name. Call it standard normals. If I do that, nothing is printed because now this vector of 100 numbers is called standard normals. How am I going to look at those? Well, for example, I could take a histogram. And there it is. There's my histogram. This doesn't look perfectly normal. Why? Because these are just 100 random draws from a normal distribution. But you can see that they're drawn from a standard normal. They're centered around 0. And about 95% of them are within negative 2 and 2. The normal distribution is not the only distribution that has a a known name. We've also talked about the, the uniform distribution, this idea of a flat distribution. And uh, the runif command is how we draw random normals from a uniform distribution. Let's look at the help page to see what we have to input in order to draw random uniforms. Okay, so as I said, just like uh, with the normal command, you can put lots of different letters before the name of the distribution to get different functions. And what we're looking at is our unit. We're looking at this line. This happens they have a combined help page. So the first argument here is n. And if we look down here, it says n is the number of observations. In other words, the number of random uniforms we're going to draw. And then for this uniform distribution, we specify the min and the max of our uniform distribution. And the defaults are 0 and 1. So that means that if I do this, I'm going to get one number that's equally likely to be anywhere between 0 and 1. And if I do this, I'm going to get 10 numbers that are all equally likely to be in between 0 and 1. And if I want to see what that looks like, I can make a histogram of maybe 100 numbers that I draw that are equally likely to be between 0 and 1. And what I get when I make the histogram is something that doesn't look completely flat because I only drew 100 numbers. This is not a normal distribution anymore. Each of these numbers is equally likely to fall anywhere between 0 and 1. If I had even more of these, a thousand, then this will look even more flat, right? The more numbers I draw, the more um, they're going to, by chance, be spread across the range of values from 0 to 1. And if I want to draw one value that's not between 0 and 1, but rather um, between 6 and 10, right, I can do that as well. And there's that number that's randomly between 6 and 10. Note that sometimes I've been specifying the name of the argument and saying mean equals 100, for example. And sometimes, as here, I didn't actually specify the name of these second two arguments because I couldn't remember them, to be honest. So you have a couple choices in R. When you look at the help page, let's go back to this help page for R unif. Each of these arguments has a name, n, min, max. If you want, you can do this. If I want, I can write r unif n equals 1, min equals 0, max equals 1. The advantage to doing that is that I don't have to remember the order of the commands. It would be the same thing to do this. As long as I write their names, r knows what I mean. But if I want, 
I can specify the arguments in the correct order, in the order specified in the help page, and leave off their names. So all three, this one's different, but if I put all three of these things are the same. Here, I specify the names of the arguments in different orders. Here, I didn't specify the names, but I put the arguments in the expected order. So that's why sometimes I write name the argument equals and sometimes I don't. I suggest that when possible you remember the names of the arguments and use them because it'll make it easier as you're looking back at your code. It's easier to understand this line of code than this one. I want to mention one more of these uh, distributions that you can draw random numbers from. There are more than the ones we're specifying here. But there's also something called an exponential distribution. So if I look up our exp, okay, the first argument is the number of exponentials I want, and the second argument is the rate, and this is the only parameter you need for the exponential distribution. Um, it lets you know what that exponential distribution should look like, how it should be scaled. So um, this is a default of rate equals 1, so I can draw an exponential that way. I can also draw an exponential where I change the rate. And if I want to, I'll make a histogram of a thousand exponentials. So you can see what these look like. The exponential distribution looks like this. It's a curve that looks like this. So those are three different, uh, three of the many named famous distributions you can draw from using R commands. The last thing I want to mention here is called set.seed. Note that for any of the lines that I've specified here, every time I run it, I get a different number. Right? So let me pick this one, Rx1. I ran it. I got 1.06. Ran it again, got 0.496. Every time I run it, I get a different number. That's helpful because I'm trying to draw random numbers, but on the other hand, if I wanted to use my code to reproduce my work later or share my work with someone else and have them get the same results, that's not going to help very much. So one thing I can do is use this command called set.seed. And in the parentheses, I write a seed, which can be any number at all. I'm just typing in some, there's too many, but I'm just typing in numbers there. The idea is that R is not actually flipping coins to generate random numbers. Rather, these are pseudo-random numbers that R generates. R has a lot of different places it could possibly start, and then wherever it decides to start, it'll always generate the same sequence of numbers because it, it's a computer. It doesn't know how to actually flip a coin. So when you say set.c, you're telling R where to begin when it draws random numbers. Every time you begin your code with set.c, anything that follows that draws random numbers will do exactly the same thing. So if I put this rx1 command here, and I run these two lines together, first I'm setting the seed, and then I'm drawing one exponential. And perhaps after I do that, I want to draw two normal, or three normals. Okay, there's three normals. Right? And after that, maybe I want to draw a uniform. Two uniforms. Okay? Now, here's what's neat. If I want to reproduce these numbers, all I have to do is start with the set.seed command again, and then when I draw these three things, it's going to generate exactly the same numbers. Here's 0 0.2157, here's 0 0.2157, etc. These numbers are all the same. They wouldn't have been if I hadn't started with the seed. So anytime you're writing code where you're going to draw random numbers, I suggest putting this line right at the top of the file. You can put anything you want in here. That's going to guarantee that you draw uh, the same numbers every time, and you can replicate your work and share with others.